Hey Capricorn, Shara here. Today I'm going to be doing your reading for April the 1st to the 15th. I hope you guys are doing so good. I am still in my pajamas. It is morning. I literally like just woke up and I done the daily cut and I done the Sagittarius video. So if um, you guys want to go and watch those, please do so. Don't forget to like the video before you even watch it because I'm accurate AF. Okay, so anyway, so let's see what's going on for Capricorn, April 1st to the 15th. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see. Okay, Queen of Swords. So, you guys are really focused with the bottom of the deck is the um, Eight of Pentacles. You guys are really focused on something. You guys are straight to the point and uh, you might be dealing with an air sign. Um, Libra. Oh my God. I'm so horrible at this. Libra. Aquarius, or listen, it's still morning. Anyway, air sign. It's still morning, so. Finally having my coffee. I did the first two videos, um, like straight waking up. And um, I hadn't even had coffee or my nicotine or anything. And those are a must for me when I wake up. So, anywho. So, you guys might be dealing with the air sign. You're really focused on something. You're really focused on work. You know that this has to be done. This is supposed to be a love read. I don't know. I guess you guys are, like, not really focused on... I don't know. Or maybe the person that you're dealing with is telling you that you're working too much. I'm also saying that whoever you're dealing with, you are regretting um, that a new start didn't happen or that it's not happening. But look, the universe does this for you, not to you. So maybe they had maybe they were a lesson that you had to learn you know sometimes it just happens like that it sucks but so we've got queen of pentacles you could be dealing with a um taurus uh an earth sign taurus capricorn or virgo so and this is the feminine energy um, you might be waiting for something to complete. You might be doing a job that you are finished, trying to finish. Um, I'm also seeing a mother figure here trying to complete a cycle, um, or trying to do something for your mother. All right, so how does, you know what, you could actually be, you could be dealing with two people or have two people in mind, and it's like one you feel like you can't have and the other is very nurturing, um, very, you know, unconditionally caring, you know, could be a businesswoman, businessman. Um, somebody really focusing on their money, getting their life together, got all their ducks in a row. Um, so how does, uh, Capricorn feel about their person? You feel like it's a waste of time or yeah, you guys like are not together, obviously. So you guys are not, either you're not communicating or 
you feel like, you know, where did I go wrong? Or you knew that it was a waste of time. Like the investment was not... Also, I feel like there wasn't enough effort put into the situation. And it didn't have time to nurture you or to grow. It didn't have time to grow. Um, you guys didn't communicate properly. Like it's like opposing forces. How does Capricorn feel about their person? Um, you feel like maybe you hurt their feelings and you, you might want to reconcile with this person, even though they hurt you, um, maybe like resolve conflict and start over fresh. But are you really learning your lesson? Because the judgment reverse is about, you know, not learning lessons. You're also being really hard on yourself about this. And it's unnecessary. Like you're too much in your head about it. Yeah. So what is the challenge in this situation? There's a lack of passion. Um, and it's like the same thing is going to just keep happening over and over because either you or your person are not learning your lesson and you're still carrying around like garbage or like dead energy. Okay. Like you need to end it not stay stuck okay so there's just a lack of drive a lack of passion so we're going to clarify this ace of wands there's no passion okay so you know there's there's the knight and the queen of wands reversed so somebody probably um is just not in alignment with their purpose <laughs> They, they could have also started something new with somebody else. But there's just a lack of passion. There's, it, you know, it was a, it, there's no new start in this. What is the most, uh, what is your advice for Capricorn? You know, this is like, remember the good times. You're remembering the good times. Don't let that cloud your judgment, okay? Because the overall energy here is the Two of Swords reverse. That's like making a decision and knowing what to do. And it's like, you remember the good, the good things. And I think that's a problem that a lot of people have in relationships is that like after you're alone and you sit with yourself, you think about all of these wonderful things that this person did or, you know, the, how they made you feel, how you felt emotionally secure for like 10 seconds before they shit on you. Right. Okay. So they also might be, you know, somebody might be returning from the past, but according to the other cards, I don't really see it as that. It's more of a remembering the good times. Remember the good times, but don't let it cloud your judgment. All right, so let's see what does Capricorn need to focus on. Release, 
let go, transformation. That's that death card, okay? You had it in reverse, and that's about not letting go and continuing to be a dead horse. You know, it's it's not going to wake up. There is a lack of passion in this situation. So you need to transform yourself. It says you see, uh, you use the power of love to move through illusions, Ill illusions, illusions, and shift into awareness. So that was that two of swords, like I said, you know, kind of opening your eyes and knowing what you need to do. That's awareness. So, oh my gosh. Anyway, that card fell, but it was release. So you need to release this energy because it's not helping your vibe raise, you know, anything that made you feel a certain type of way and made you leave the situation or may made the other person leave the situation. It's, it's people don't usually change. You can, but it takes a conscious effort. And if they're not going to make the conscious effort to change, it is not going to be good for your growth. You changing and you understanding and moving forward is essential for your growth. So what does this person want to say to Capricorn? What does this person want to say to Capricorn? Okay. You speak to me through music. So, and I'm not available. So, maybe, you know what, I don't really see this as what they want to say to you because your person is probably not available. There's, I see no action being taken. So you might be like making music about this person or you might be listening to music and thinking about this person. I see this as your energy. I don't see this as, um, also I see that you're like afraid to talk to this person. You see this person as very special. But it's almost like they're kind of like doing their own thing. You know, and there's like three queens here. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Wands reversed. You might have some other people in your energy. But I don't see anything being taken too seriously. But you do have like one special person that you would like to, um, that you would like to enjoy. So, um, and again, you might be making music or, you know, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, what else does this person want to say to Capricorn? Or you might be speaking to this person through music. Anyway, what does this person want to say to Capricorn? What does Capricorn's person want to say to them? I hide behind material things. And my life is not as together as it seems. So this, I think that this came up for Sagittarius. You might be dealing with the Sagittarius. I hide behind material things. So, I don't really think that, I've said this before that I don't really think that it's necessarily, because I don't see materialism here. This person can have like a hard time showing their feelings or being vulnerable. So, it's more or less 
them not being able to express how they feel. So they hide their emotions or they may speak um, like subliminally or something like that. I don't really necessarily see it as material or you might see this person as materialistic. So, all right. Rebel advice. Rebel advice. Rebel advice. For Capricorn. For April 1st to the 15th. Love. Did you guys get this in the, like, last read? I feel like you did. I feel like you guys got this in the last I could be wrong. I'm usually not. But you'll have to go back and watch your last one, I guess. But anyway, love. Get some, give some. It'll cheer your ass up. And you need a good fucking cry. So, you know, I can really um, identify with this. I have like a crap ton of Capricorn in my chart, like my rising Lilith, Venus, South Node, all in Capricorn. So, um, I can definitely relate to this. Um, you need a good cry. I actually did cry yesterday, you know, um, I was just all up in my feels and, you know, it's, it's okay to, to feel that way. It's okay to let it out when you need to. We're human. It's very cleansing. So anyway, guys, that's all that I have for you today. Um, if you want to book a personal reading, it is in the um, description down below. And... Um, make sure that you like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed because um, a lot of you guys that are um, watching the videos are not subscribed. And there ain't no reason for that. That don't make no kind of sense. Anyway, I love you so much. Bye.